Hello, here is a quick review of our special number 4 Sentinel. Uh, we have just added it recently. Uh, we just used some overstock parts that we've got in inventory. So it has quite lower price tag than our normal prices. Uh, it's built inside of the deep cool Tesseract case. It has got that blue trim on the front, otherwise it's all black. Uh, there is a blue fan on the front as well. No optical drives installed, but uh, we can add one for you, or you can add one yourself. If you want, like Blu-ray, DVD burner, whatever, we can install anything here. There are three 5.25 bays here, so it's not a problem. On top, some LED indicators, USB 3.0, 2.0, uh, headphones, microphone, reset, power button. There are two spots for fans on top and there is one fan installed as an exhaust. You can add another fan here. There is one fan on the front which works as an intake. It has blue LEDs uh, and one fan in the back which works as exhaust. So there are three fans total, two exhaust fans, one intake. Uh, here is your power supply, video card connections, USB 3.0 and six 2.0 ports, PS2, Ethernet connection, audio ports, all the usual stuff. Inside, let's see, the hard drive, uh, it's actually, well, you can't really pull it, now we the screw in there. It's a Seagate Fire CUDA, which is a hybrid hard drive, or SSHD, that's what they call it, a solid state hybrid drive. Uh, it is not as fast as regular SSD, but it's definitely much bigger and it's one terabyte here and it's only halfway uh, in terms of speed between regular hard drive and SSD drive. Much better than regular hard drive for sure. Power supply, it's thermal take 500 watts, uh, it's plenty for that kind of system and you can even upgrade a video card and it still will be enough. In this particular configuration we've got MSI overclocked version it's RX uh, 480 with 8 GB of memory. We are sold out on uh, RX 470 with 4 GB. Uh, this one is a bit more expensive, but it's worth it. Uh, as you can see, all the cabling is nicely done. Everything is hidden. Only a few cables are sticking out. That's whatever necessary for that kind of system. Uh, two slots are occupied. There is 16 GB of memory. It's uh, 1866 MHz. Uh, some connections inside. You see all those fans connected there. Uh, the CPU cooler is uh, big wide. Uh, it has four copper heat pipes, 120 millimeter fan, so it's really quiet. And underneath uh, there is an uh, eight core FX 8350 processor from AMD. Uh, we have got it overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz, so it's not just a some turbo boost frequency. It's a constant frequency it can run on. Uh, but it drops down as well when there is no load to save on uh, power and uh, to produce less heat and noise. So overall it's a very nice system. It has got nice cores in 3D Mark. Uh, it can run pretty much any game on high settings, uh, 1080p resolution. You can add quite a few upgrades here. As you can see there are a lot of extra slots for storage devices, optical drives. Uh, there is another PCI Express slot here, which we can use for cross-firing to RX uh, 480 or 580 video cards, uh, which is nice too. And there is another connection on the power supply as well, so it will support the second video card if you need it. Uh, two extra slots for memory as well. Aftermarket cooler makes everything really nice and cool here. The system is, is rather quiet. Uh, even under load, it's not going to give you a lot of noise. And let me power it up and you'll see. That's the fan on the front with blue LEDs, blue LED fan on the back, and regular black fan on top. Uh, that's two fans on the video card. Another fan in the power supply, but overall, it's a very quiet system. It boots in about 10, 10 12 seconds. Uh, quite a few SATA ports here as well. As you can see, the fans on the video card, they have actually stopped uh, because video card is not in gaming mode now. So uh, 
it just stays quiet all the time while when an idle uh, it saves a lot of power does not produce any noise so it's a nice feature as soon as you start some game those fans will kick in again so this is it that's the front of it as you can see blue fan here regular panel here if you like it you can find it on our website again it's special number four sentinel right now it goes for 827 dollars price can uh, change up and down depending on current options and inventory uh, please let us know if you have any questions we can customize it for you as well thank you for watching and have a great day